Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Alexander Howell, and uh, we've run into a couple of things building in Mexico, if you can call it that at this point, and wanted to go over it with you. So, uh, well, before I say anything else, let's just get it started. Building in Mexico, oh, what fun. So before we get into it real quick, please feel free to like and subscribe to the video if you enjoyed it and hit that little notification bell. That'll let you know anytime that I go live, whether it's streaming on YouTube or one of these videos posts, you will be the first one to know about it. Feel free to follow me on these social networks at Alexander from KC is where you can find me pretty much everywhere. But Instagram is my main account. And also feel free to directly text me at 816-727-7740. So those of you who don't know me, my name is Alexander Howell, and this is my YouTube channel where we talk about travel, real estate marketing, and a lot of other things. But the main focus has really been about our experience in Medina, Mexico, and the surrounding area in the state of Yucatan. And my wife and I, uh, in February of 2020, went down to Merida with our two kids and stayed in an Airbnb for about a month. Now, it was actually in a city called Waimatun or a township called Waimatun by the beach, but Merida is kind of the city center. So Merida is inland, colonial town, and cities are towns like Progreso and uh, Chuberna, Chalem, and Waimatun are on the beach. So it's a beautiful place, wonderful people, great city. And the city of Merida, we absolutely fell in love with, even though we didn't actually stay there much. <laughs> We went back in December after purchasing a home while we were down on that initial trip. And the reason we went back in December was to discuss with our architect what was going on in the process of getting this thing ready to be built. Now, you might be thinking February 2020, December, that's a long time to be in the process of not digging in and actually starting the build. And you would be 100 percent verifiably correct on that. So here's what happened. We went down February of 2020. About halfway through the trip, we talked to a realtor named Elizabeth Rodriguez with Yucatan Beach and City Property. And she was amazing. And you can look her up at yucatanbeachandcityproperty.com. But she was absolutely amazing. We ended up looking at about eight, seven or eight houses, one lot, and we fell in love with one. That was the one we purchased. Now, because of COVID hitting, the entire process kind of got thrown for a loop. So a lot of the delay has been that. So we signed on the house in March, and then we gave the notary, uh, Notaria 11, uh, power of attorney for so that they could sign whenever possible. Now, because everybody had to be out of the office and quarantined before everything else was going on, they had to wait about two months for this thing to close. So March, April, late April, early May is when we finally closed on the property. And we were ridiculously excited because we had already been in talks with our architect, Henry Ponce, and his uh, web address is henryponce.com. That'll have all of his information for you, for those of you who have asked for that in the past. So henryponce.com. Henry has been incredible. The only thing that hasn't been incredible is stuff that he has nothing to do with, and that is his office rules, making sure that people are spread apart, making sure the people that need to stay home can stay home, people taking off because they were diagnosed or could have possibly been exposed to coronavirus. It has been a mess all over the world and we have all dealt with it, but he has been absolutely exemplary and all of his designs and everything that we've dealt with, professional and fantastic. Every time that I think, ah, I don't really like this, it's changed and it's exactly what we're looking for. So I couldn't recommend him enough. But because of all of this, it has just been delay after delay after delay. And part of that too is on us. There have been times where there was a miscommunication and whether it was language or whatever, but we haven't gotten back to him when we should have gotten back to him. So I put nothing on that outside of 2020 was a very strange year, as we all know. But anyway, we got through the process. We met him this last December and we're kind of hit with a little bit of a brick wall because we said we gave the OK, let's start the process. Let's get permits started. And then it has been radio silence, not from Henry, but from the permitting department. We have just it's been nothing. And everybody that I've reached out to. And by the way, those of you who have uh, reached out to me um, on this channel or through my web address at alexanderhowell.com. Every single person that I've spoken to is going through the same thing if they're trying to build. And these permits can take anywhere between six and eight, even 12 months in some of the nightmare scenarios. Now, there are things that I have been told that uh, that you can do. And one of those things is maybe, um, you know, slide and sign a little little dollars to someone to get it through the process. I'm not saying that that's what it is. I'm just saying that rumors fly. We all we all know rumors. They they go everywhere. But I've heard that and I'd be open to that. 
but I don't know. We're <laughs> going to have to see just what's going on in this mind numbing process of getting through it. But it has been basically a little over a year, around a year since we've closed on the property and over a year since we saw the property. And that unfortunately is just kind of building there right now. From what we have heard, the permitting department, it's honestly not really their fault. They're in a situation where there has been year over year continuous significant growth and just growing with that demand is absolutely ridiculously hard and they're trying to keep up with it and we are also in an area that is right on the edge of the historic uh, centro district and the other districts so we fall kind of in that line where we have to make sure that everything is exactly as it should be everything conforms to what their view of the city is and that is something that i actually really appreciate so as much of a pain as it is, this is more a warning to somebody that's building on it. And now let's get to the really, the really not fun thing. So basically what we're dealing with is a situation where when we purchased the property, we were in a very good spot because the peso to dollar was actually very, very much in our favor. Unfortunately, that's changed. So you see that dip right in the center there? That is when we bought the property. When the peso to dollar worked out very well, we were doing great. And the property that we got, we actually got into in a very, 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 very positive rate, positive way. Unfortunately, as you'll notice with COVID or whatever it might be, it has slowly gone up. And due to that, and along with that, price increases in all of the construction materials, which anybody that's building in the United States, Mexico, or anywhere in the world right now, realizes that lumber, windows, things of this nature, they have all gone up in price. And unfortunately, on top of that, the peso to dollar ratio was no longer as much in our favor. So anyway, that's what we've been dealing with. So the video that I did recently, this one right here, where I talked about the pricing and where it's going to end up is not going to be the same. Now this was anticipated. We knew that the peso to dollar ratio was going to fluctuate. We kind of had an idea after that video was there and I had been doing some renovations on some properties that we have here in Kansas City. Everything was going up. I figured, and I think I actually referenced this in the video that I thought the price might go up a bit. Unfortunately, it's going to be going up significantly compared to what we had. Now I'm not going to tell you what the price is at this point, not because I wouldn't share that. I'm obviously very open with this channel but i just don't know right now this is you know lumber is ridiculously expensive right now and that's what all of our furniture is going to be made out of cabinetry things like that so we're just gonna have to wait and see but this is more a cautionary tale for anybody that is looking to build in Merida. It's a wonderful city. It's a wonderful place. And I regret nothing about buying the house. I regret nothing about the renovations that we're eventually going to do. Some of them might have to be walked back a bit, or some things might not be done that can be done in the future just to make sure that we have this thing financially planned out as well as we thought we did initially. It was perfect in the numbers before, and now we need to go back and evaluate it again. But where we are, we always knew we would be comfortable. Unless the price doubled, we knew we were going to be fine. But this is why it fit in our financial plan because we had thought about it, we'd gone through best case and worst case scenarios, and we always had in these buffers that said whether we could do one thing or another. Initially, everything, let's keep going. Now, we'll see. But I'll keep you guys up to date, we'll keep going, and I do wanna say, if you're in this situation where you're looking at a house and you're thinking, I want to make sure it's perfect and get everything done, but you're stretching your last dollar and you're putting yourself in a position where it is not financially intelligent for you to invest at this point, wait, save, find the right deal. There are always going to be houses on the market in Merida, in Kansas City, all over the world. There will always be a place that you fall in love with and lose and you fall in love with and get. But making sure that your finances are in check and they work out no matter what happens in the long run, that's the important thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander Howell. Please feel free to visit me at any of these social networks or send me a text 816-727-7740. Follow me at Alexander from KC. I'm on Twitter, Twitch, and uh, but my main one's Instagram. So follow me on Instagram at Alexander from KC. And definitely feel free to visit my website, alexanderhowell.com. And if you go to the Contact Us page, all that does is send an email directly to me with any questions or concerns that you might have. I'm always willing to help you guys out. Just know that sometimes it takes me a little bit longer to get back. As this channel has grown, I'm getting more and more emails and I try to respond to every single one of them, but they're only 24 hours in the day. And as much as I wish there were more, there aren't. <laughs>
Also, if you want to connect with others that are looking to either travel to or invest in Merida, I just started a Facebook group and it's facebook.com slash groups slash travel, the number two Merida. So travel to Merida. And uh, it's a small group right now. So if you look at it and think that it's the wrong one, it's probably not. There are very few people in there right now. Only the ones that I've known that have contacted me thus far. So feel free to visit that Facebook group. It's not a caddy group. I just want to have people that can come in there, exchange information for either their trip or their investment. So travel to Medita Facebook group. Hope you guys enjoy. I really enjoy making these videos. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace.